Hey everybody, Dell here today to answer some questions about leather jackets. I went to Google and let autocomplete finish the sentence. Can leather jackets, insert blank. So I'm just gonna run down this list. I haven't really looked at this list ahead of time. I'm going to answer on the cuff the best of my ability. If you think that any of my answers are incorrect or helpful, let me know what you think or what your answer would have been to some of these questions. First off, can leather jackets get wet? Yes, leather jackets can get wet, especially jackets intended for motorcycle riding. These jackets are made to handle rough elements. One of the reasons you would wear a leather jacket on a motorcycle is to deal with driving through showers, having bug guts smushed up against you, splats and bits of stuff from the road. So yeah, leather jackets can get wet. However, the nature of the hide and how it's been treated can impact how the jacket will do when it gets wet. So jackets not intended for such heavy duty use, uh, fashion jackets or other types of jackets intended for, say for example, use in an airplane, might not be so well suited to getting wet. So jackets that have naked leather, veg tan as the tannage instead of chrome tanning or other heavier duty tannages, jackets that don't have a lot of oils or waxes plumped up into them during the tanning process, may take on some of the water in a different way instead of it just rolling off the jacket it may absorb that water and cause some aging to the jacket but yes leather jackets can get wet can leather jackets be tailored is question number two yes leather jackets can be tailored you can do a lot to adjust the fit of a jacket but depending on the nature of the work that you get done you are running certain risks that it will turn out the way you want just like any tailoring common alterations would be to shorten sleeve length for example this is one that i've had to do but just like any alteration to a jacket when we think about adjusting chest width shoulder width these are more difficult to do than adjustments to the length of the jacket to the width at the bottom hem to the sleeve link and may not be successful. You should also use a tailor who is accustomed to working with leather. Hopefully you have someone close by that can do that. If you don't, the maker of the jacket may very well be able to do the work for you. For example, I know Shot NYC, Vanson, uh, Johnson Leathers, other makers do modifications on jackets that they've made. And there are some folks who will do modifications for jackets they haven't made. Johnson Leathers has been doing this, although I think it depends on their workload if they'll take it on. Great Leather and Leather Jackets, I believe is the name. I've put up the site. It's a leather worker named Dina who's well known in certain circles. She's done good modification works for a lot of folks I know. I shouldn't have left off Langlets will modify their jackets and they do good work on that. So it can be tailored, it just depends on the nature of the work you wanna get done. Next question, question number three, can leather jackets be dry cleaned? That's an odd question. I wouldn't send a jacket to a dry cleaner, maybe to a leather cleaning specialist. Arrow does this kind of work. Great Leather, Dina, does this kind of work. Other folks in your area may do it, although I've been told by some local cleaners that other cleaning businesses in, in my area, in many cases, close up shop. You would really be looking for just a cleaning of the jacket. Putting it through a typical dry cleaning process is not really what you'd be looking for. A cleaning and conditioning of the jacket using appropriate cleaning agents and restorative agents for a jacket can be a good idea, especially for an older jacket a jacket that's been in storage for a long time without being worn, a jacket that you've gotten used, that the previous user put through the ringer. So specifically dry cleaning, that's not a good idea. But cleaning a leather jacket, it's an okay idea. And you can get that professionally done. Can leather jackets be washed? Question number four. Yes, they can be, although it comes with risks. So this is not something I've personally ever done, but I do know folks who have put their jackets in the tub with mild soap, I know folks that have put their jackets in the washing machine with mild detergent. You know, this is something that could be done for a couple of reasons. Obviously, if the jacket is dirty and just wiping it down is not sufficient, maybe you need to dunk it in water to really get the funkiness out. So that's a possibility that you would be somewhat desperate, perhaps, and wash your jacket. People also do this as part of a regimen of shrinking. You get the jacket wet by dunking it in the water and then you put it in the dryer. Again, this is not something that I've ever done, but you can successfully shrink a jacket by doing this, by getting it wet and then getting it hot. So if you are looking to alter the size of your jacket without sending it to a tailor, perhaps washing it and then putting in the drying machine is the way to go. The risks you run are that you will just completely ruin the jacket. It will shrink in unusual ways. The leather will get dried and cracked. To if it's an older jacket, maybe there's damage there that 
wasn't apparent, but then whenever you put it through the stress, you just destroy it. So it's possible, highly risky. Next question, number five. Can leather jackets be restored? Yes, leather jackets can be restored. There's a businesses that entirely revolve around doing this. It largely involves cleaning a jacket and applying conditioners and other restorative elements. So this is gets into this question about what is a good conditioner and how do you clean a jacket, which could be its own entire video, but the short version of it is you clean it with wet rag, perhaps mild soap. And when I mean mild, I mean baby wipe mild is appropriate to get all the oils and other things that have built up upon it. Uh, you especially would be looking often at the area behind the neck gets dirty and should be cleaned annually on a jacket that you wear a lot, if not more often. And once you've cleaned it, things you use to restore a jacket could be any good leather conditioner. Oftentimes, jacket makers will sell conditioners. It's great to use a product that's made by the folks that are selling the jacket that you're buying because they're familiar with the materials that they use. For example, when I bought my Langlitz jacket, they sent a tub of Langlitz leather dressing. That's what I use on my Langlitz leather jacket. Other well-known brands, Picard's, Big Number no. 4, Saphir, Venetian, these are all kind of well-known. Leather Honey is a popular product for leather jackets. Once you've reconditioned and put the moisture back into the jacket, a jacket that still looks dull, especially for older or vintage jackets, jackets that have seen a lot of heavy use, their top coat can wear off and they lose some depth of color. You can restore that with a product called Urad. It essentially forms a new top coat and can add depth of color back into a jacket that has lost it. So yeah, leather jackets can be restored. Honestly, just take some elbow grease and the right products and you can take a jacket that looks old and busted and make it the new hotness if that's what you're looking to do. Now jackets that have flaky, crusty leather seems to be falling apart at the touch. Jackets that have damage through the entirety of the leather those will be hard to restore and that is not really something that could be fixed through restoration. Jackets that have a lining that is completely falling apart that's no big deal honestly it can be relined but it just depends about the integrity of the leather itself for the restoration question number six is can leather jackets be altered you know we kind of answered this one with can leather jackets be tailored so i'll just give it a pass question number seven is can leather jackets go in the dryer yeah i talked about this with can leather jackets be washed this is a very high risk maneuver y'all just as a reminder it can be done if you are doing this, I wouldn't put the jacket in there by itself. You should put sheets in there, perhaps some agitators, things to kind of bounce around in there with the sheets in the jacket so that it doesn't just get stuck in one position. I would just go as far as to say you probably shouldn't do this, but if you're really desperate and you want to make some adjustments to this jacket without sending it to a tailor, Godspeed to you. Question number eight. Can leather jackets stretch? Yes, leather jackets can stretch. This is a very common question. I'm surprised it's so far down on the list. When it comes to fit, people often ask with leather jackets, and I find also uh, leather boots and shoes, can the leather stretch? The answer is yes, to a degree, and it does matter how thick the leather is and the nature of it. If you're trying to stretch four ounce horse hide treated for motorcycle riding, it's gonna be an extremely robust leather and I'm not sure how much stretch you're gonna get out of it. If you're talking about a lighter leather, two to two and a half ounce, if the tannage is a lighter tannage like veg tan, these kind of jackets will stretch a lot more. They'll stretch in high stress areas like at the elbows, around the shoulder, and they can stretch anywhere else that they see a lot of tension. I've also seen folks with a jacket that was too small get the jacket wet and then stuff it full of pillows and other things to put the interior of the jacket under as even an amount of tension as possible and stretch a whole jacket out <laughs> to increase the size. Again, like with the going in the dryer method, it's a risky business, it's a risky business. But with close attention and willingness to accept that risk, you may be able to stretch out a jacket that overall is too small for you through that kind of method. Last question on this list is, I guess question number nine. Yeah, question nine. Can leather jackets be fixed? Well, yeah, leather jackets can be fixed. I suppose it depends on what the problem is. Common things that happen with leather jackets are the zippers break, especially if the jacket's under a lot of tension while being worn, the insertion pin at the bottom tape down there will fray away and it will become very difficult to zip up and eventually the tape can tear away. Zipper failures in general happen depending on the type of zipper. Hookless zippers, for example, have this kind of finicky 
start that if you don't get the teeth on properly at first, you might very well have a stuck zipper. Snaps come undone, linings rip, all sorts of small issues can happen to a jacket that can be fixed. For example, on the recent California review I did, I shared that the action back on that jacket, which flexes with the body, well, it flexes because there's elastic in the jacket that pulls it back into its regular shape. And the elastic in my jacket has kind of failed, so it needs to be replaced. All right, lots of different possibilities there and small things that can be done to fix your jacket. Well, that's it for this session of jacket questions answered. Let me know what you think about my answers to these questions. If you like this, perhaps you have some questions you'd like me to answer. Hit me up in the comments and I hope you have a wonderful day.